So bullet ants are actually really interesting because um, I want, I'll just give you a, a few facts about these. So have you heard, you might have heard of bullet ants before in the context of a sort of um, coming of age ritual. Have you heard of that before? Oh, yes. Right. Yeah. Do you remember? I, I, well, I can't remember the details, but yeah, essentially, I mean, it's obvious from what Corey said, but essentially it's like um, you get bitten by this ant in order, as like a as like a ritual of... of Passing into adulthood, being a man, I think. Yeah, so in the... Uh, I may butcher this uh, pronunciation. Where in it, tribal settings. Where does it bite you? So in the Sateri Maui people, um, uh, the sort of Sateri Maui uh, tribe, I guess, or yeah. the Sateri Maui people in Brazil, they use ant stings. Those ant stings um, uh, to sort of mark you moving into adulthood. So what you need to do is essentially um, the like sort of boys will get together all of the bullet ants um, and then they're... Uh, they're Come basically on, sedated and put into gloves. Oh. So you've got a bunch of ant, these ants oh. in gloves, um, <laughs> and all of their stingers are then like facing inwards oh. to where, like you know, to where you put your hand in. Um, and then you've got to wear that like, glove twenty times before you're considered a warrior. Twenty times in the course oh. of a year, or in the course I, it of just a day. Says twenty times, I, but probably ever. But but yeah, in your life, I mean, you're not going to do it. You're yeah. not going to be going back for more. But the thing is that the reason they're called bullet ants is because it apparently it feels like being mm. shot. Like yeah. it's the pain of being shot. That's why they're called bullet ants. Wow. Oh. Yeah. I wonder what. Painful. I'd love to know what that does because, like, obviously, there's there's there are these traditions, um, in various areas of the world of like coming of age things um, and that sort of thing. I'd love to know if there's actually like what it does to you, what it does to your brain, what it does to your nervous system, if there's some physiological thing that's like, oh, once you have done this thing, you are now a different thing. Like your your nervous system, your si- like you as a person has been updated in some fundamental mm. way. Well, I mean, if you t- put it this way, if you take the worst pain of your life yeah, and you have it 20 times, and then you're a, and then you've got the respect of being a warrior. Then you are, you know, you have come of age, sort of thing. Yeah, you can go through the rest of your life knowing I've experienced horrific, horrific pain. Yeah, and almost everything else you go through will be measured against that, right? Yeah, and so you're like, oh, well, this isn't that bad. Like, imagine what if, I mean if is... you've had the worst day of your life ever. Yeah, yeah. every but day after that is going to be twenty times. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this, I I always say this when I when like people I know want to learn to skate that I, I learned to be good at skating once I had a really horrible fall. Um, and then after that, I was like, oh, okay, that was bad, but it wasn't that bad. I didn't, like, obviously I could. But that's the thing is, I, I then yeah, was able to skate and not yeah. be worried about it, but then there were still things that I, that could be worse. Like, I could yeah. fall off and crack my head open, but for some reason I'm not scared about it. And so what I'm wondering is, is, like, is there some physiological thing that happens to you once you've experienced something that bad because you obviously you can say that you can logic it out but then i would love to know if there's actually some something that actually does change unfortunately i didn't research no i'm not saying you did i just mean that would be a really interesting thing to study like Mm -hmm. uh, do you become a different thing having experienced something like that i mean i would honestly i'd go out on a limb and say yes because arguably you become a different thing with all of your experience well yes okay so when i walk through a door i'm a different thing no i mean like with with any experience changes you right Um, yeah yeah. there there are there are changes i mean you could literally talk about trauma and all of that sort of stuff those experiences change you and it's i mean i wouldn't necessarily say that putting your hand in that glove 20 times is going to be traumatic because it's sort of you know it's a rite of passage it's a ritual a thing that you 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 know you're you're going to do sort of thing yeah um, and there's all this sort of support around you, that that sort of thing, but um, but like it, it, you could see how it could be similar. Like that extreme amount of pain, yeah, could not necessarily rewire your, your brain entirely, yeah, but it could. I don't know. Can, your, your brain is plastic. If you do that twenty times, yeah. it's probably gonna. It's probably yeah, gonna have some but that's effect. all I mean is that all of that is hypothetical. It's all like it could do this. It could, and so I would love to know. I'd love to for somebody to do some study on that of like, uh, are you more more able to go towards pain and not fear it? For example, um, I think that depends on the person. Though, yeah, doesn't it? exactly. I mean, look, what what I'm saying to you is that the reason this is all hypothetical is because I'm, it will change your brain. It literally yeah. will, because experiences change you. Yes. Um, this sounds abysmal, to be honest. Just really painful for a long, long time. Twenty times. That's a hundred minutes Horrible. of bullet ants. That's ridiculous. Ah, oh my big, god strong and not man. just one like multi i mean at some yeah, point yeah. the pain has just got to like just, it is just... worse because you having to go back to it consciously knowing that what you experienced last time was really bad i mean i feel like after like the, maybe the 10th time or something you know what i mean yeah yeah you but the second bad. one imagine how scary the second one is because you know what's coming yeah oh god yeah. no the second i think the first one would be the worst 
and the second would be the second worst. The second worst. <laughs> yeah. And then they'd kind of start getting jumbled up. Yeah. Right? Like, yeah. yeah no. Oh, yeah. Good lord. Does it leave sounds... any physical scarring, do you know? Because um, I feel like getting bitten by that many ants that many times. Not to my knowledge. Um, you know, they can they can suffer. It says that they could suffer intense pain, yeah. hallucinate, and shake uncontrollably. Um, and there hasn't been any, there's not sort of been, been any recordings of deaths from it. Yeah. Because again, like, you know, um, I mean, being stung by these ants it's not deadly it just really 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 hurts yeah um yeah no i mean i i just i i'm not really sure and this is what's really frustrating because it's hard to find this sort of information it's hard yeah. to find that sort of information on this and also it wasn't really the folks of this episode but <laughs> I'm, I'm glad we had a chat about it right? we should make Some a menu yeah. that would be nice yeah. i know like this is i'm I, i'm sitting there reading the, the bee sting and i'm like oh no. Oh, maybe I should. I should sample. Oh, can I? Can I sample some of your finest yeah. bee, please? Sir? I think I'll have the yellow jacket. Yes, if it wasn't so immoral, <laughs> it would be a really interesting tourist attraction for him to open, where you could go to like essentially like a restaurant, yeah. and you could sit down and go look at the menu of all mm. the different scales, and go, I want to order one of those, and then they bring it along and they put it on your hand or your arm and it bites you. That's mad. That would be a really That'd good tourist really attraction. That would be yeah. great. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, you'd get so many blokes doing it for staggers. <laughs> So, so mad. And you know, and if you get through the... everyone yeah. on the menu, then you get the label of warrior. Yeah. It's a little badge. <laughs> oh, but yet you get the glove. I mean, big boy. <laughs> you, get, you get a loyalty card with 20 little stamps on it. And that you can you can wear the glove for yeah. five minutes. Wow, I love how we, <laughs> as you know, capitalists, just destroy cultures and make. <laughs> how can I monetize this? How can I make money of it? Delicious. Oh, is this your sacred uh, held belief? No, it's mine now. <laughs> You're gonna pay me for it. <laughs> Nineteen gloves get the twentieth free. <laughs>